Hey, my name is Matt. Welcome to Ranking Tactics. And today we have a challenge, a throwdown, a death match between ChatGPT and ZimWriter. We're going to take both these AI writing tools, throw them in the octagon together. They will battle it out writing a blog post and one will win and you, you will help vote on the winner. I'm going to link both of the results in the description down below, both files that these tools generate, and you all can vote on the results. Now let's dive in right now and pick the article that we want to write about. So I use SEMrush to find keywords to write about that have low competition. I did a search using the magic tool inside of SEMrush for the word or the phrase side hustle. Now I want to find a long tail with low competition. So I filtered by keyword difficulty between zero and 30, and I filtered by keyword how, and I found this long tail that we could potentially write about how to turn your side hustle into your dream job. It's got a 28% keyword difficulty, which is not too high. It's got okay volume. Now this volume could be off by a factor, sometimes a factor of 10, it could be 300 volume or even more. So this might be worth writing about. So we're going to choose this and then I'll go to phrase. Now phrase is what you, what you use after you have your keyword. You'll plug this keyword into phrase. Phrase will go out to Google, perform a search and bring in all the data from that search. So then you can analyze it and then write your article. Now we are going to be writing our articles in chat GPT and Zim writer, and we'll paste the results into phrase. And that will be the end of the video. Now you could, if you wanted to go back into phrase and further edit your article and incorporate things such as different questions from Quora, from Reddit, statistics, recent news, and even Wikipedia topics. There's all kinds of things you can do with phrase, but we're not going to do those for this particular video. Now we're going to look at the statistics that phrase has gathered about the competition. Now, Phrase has said that the competition uses on average four headers. So this will be like our H2s or H3s. So we're going to try, we're going to go one above it. We're going to use five headers, five subheadings for our articles. So let's get started with our deathmatch challenge.
And let's give some commentary on both of these results. We're going to look at the, uh, the chat GPT result first. Now the chat GPT has a 1781 word article. That's a pretty, pretty long article right there. And the unfortunate thing though, is our introduction and our conclusion is just one giant paragraph. So I would definitely have to break this up. It does look well-written. Defining your, your dream job, the first step in turning your side hustle into your dream job is to clearly identify what your dream job looks like for you. This may seem like a simple task, but it's important to take the time to really think about what you want to achieve. It's not bad. Once you have identified your dream job, so we get a nice little transition, the next step is to identify the skills and experience you need to make it a reality. Then we start getting some bullet points in here. That's pretty cool. And then building a business plan and setting goals. And this is cool. Now we get two sets of bullet points. But one thing I noticed is like now we get two sets of bullet points for every single one. And so it looks, it starts to look a little repetitious. It looks a little, I don't, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look normal in my mind, but that's just my particular opinion. It's not to say it's not correct. Maybe I'd want some bullet points in one and nothing in the other, or maybe a numeric list in the other one. It does look a little bullet points, two paragraphs, bullet points, two paragraphs, bullet points, one paragraph, bullet points, two paragraphs. Yeah, it looks a little interesting. I'll let you read it. I'm not going to read the whole thing. That looks like it's interesting. I don't see any eyes. I definitely see some U's. So it's semi-personal, but it's not super personal. And I don't see any different figures of speech and things like that in this one. But I will maybe maybe you want a more professional article. So I'll leave this in the description down below. You can view it for yourself and check it out. Now let's look at the uh, the Zimwriter result. That was the chat GPT result. Let's look at the Zimwriter. Life is a garden full of opportunity and the potential to make it whatever you want. For many of us, the idea of turning our side hustle into a dream job is something we think of often. It's a difficult journey, but one can be immensely rewarding when successful. The key is to approach it in the right way and have the right mindset to make your dream job become a reality. Turning your side hustle into a dream job is an exciting and rewarding journey. It requires hard work and dedication and a clear path that you can follow to get you started on the right foot. Take some time to identify your dream job. Take me, for example. I'm a writer by trade, and my dream job is to become a full-time freelance content creator. When I first started out, I had to define what success looked like to me. Did it mean writing for the biggest publications or having a steady stream of clients? I like that personally because it's the I. It's the personal touch. This is what I did. Let's go down here and take a look at some of these other ones. So this is nice because I don't get, I don't get like the bullet points, paragraphs, bullet points. I do want some bullet points. Now these bullet points, it did put some in here, but the converter, I used a converter to the all docs converter. It doesn't convert these well to HTML format. So you kind of have to go in here and manually do it, but they are in there. So to start off here are five things to help you make this transition, have clarity and focus on your goal, develop a plan for how you want to achieve your dream job. That's pretty cool. So we have 1,690 words. So the word count's about the same. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to put both of these files in the description below. You guys can vote on what you like best in the comments. And then obviously look at the time codes and look at how much work was put into these. I am recording this right now, so I don't know which took longer, but I'm guessing that ChatGP took longer. But not only that, it took a lot more effort on my part. So maybe if I was writing one single blog post, it wouldn't be a big deal. But writing a lot of blog posts, that could be problematic. It would get very repetitious after a while. So like I said, I'll put both in the description below. You tell me which one you think is the winner, which one you think is the loser. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And until next time, good luck with your content generation. I'll talk to you later.